Hey guys, what is up? I am Double Driven. Something different today. I'm um, going to go over some games. Uh, I jammed a couple games with uh, LaRocco, a uh, fellow TLG member, um, on our Discord. If you're not a member of the Discord, you should definitely check it out. I put a link for it every time, almost, in the uh, description. Um, a lot of people, you know, ask me questions in the comments, and sometimes I can't get to them really fast. But if you're on the Discord, usually someone on there can uh, help you out. Uh, especially with like uh, deck questions and substitutions for decks if you don't have the cards uh, so definitely check that out uh, I'm gonna go over some games um, with the uh, the Nilf card great Sun list um, I, ju I just really like the list I'm two games away from uh, pro rank so I should get there pretty soon hopefully today uh, and then we can start playing some fun stuff uh, I haven't put in out any seasonal stuff we should I might do one later. I had somebody send me something that was pretty fun. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. But um, let's uh, let's check out some games uh, that I've played. Uh, this one was really good. Um, it's against a uh, Line Pockets friend. Um, I love this uh, Siri skin, by the way. Or Siri uh, Tris skin. I just got the, the Bubbles... I think it's supposed to be a champagne glass. I'm not 100% sure. So we get um, we get our two thins. We don't brick the Afon. Um, I always recommend that if you're going to play this list, if you're going to start at least in round or your second round of Joaquim's, I would try to thin out a fawn first because uh, that's a feel bad moment. I didn't really. I wanted to get the soldier on board, so I just popped the uh, tourney joust down. Probably should have just played the uh, soldier one. It was a little bit better. But uh, then next week, the game plan is usually to um, get the soldier thinned down, then a spy, then the dogs. Um, against this, they're usually going to play the. Um, safe crackers and then the justice since they're not a uh, thing they they get it all out in one go just as a big burst play uh, I believe I have to commit um, Brathens in this round Furco's such a good card too I wish uh well, I guess we. I guess Menno is the Furco of Nilfgaard. So this is their new thing. They just drop a bunch of stuff. Um, most of the lists that I've gone up against, they have um, Junior Cleaver. You know, the, the Sea Jackal package, couple poisons. It's pretty much the same list. They, ju they just um, shuffled some stuff around. I wasn't sure if I should commit one more card. I probably should have TA'd because my hand is all gold. So I gave him a weak you know, a weak play here. Um, and he starts getting... He didn't have any coins originally, so... Yeah, I figured I'd commit the Amir. This, this was, this was bad. Um... I probably should have just TA'd. He would have committed something a little bit bigger. I think I just put the soldier back. Everything else is gold. I want to try to get the enforcers as my Ramon target. I put the usurper back though. Because I figured I was going to get... And I didn't TA again. So 
So he gets the boat out. I pass. Yeah, this was... I played this bad. I should have just... Tactical advantage after I thin. And he takes the tie. This is... This might have been his downfall because my hand... Luckily, my hand's on fire. But more than likely, so is his. So I got the soldier combo. I'm looking for a fawn. Or not a fawn. I'm looking for... Um, those can be pulls for Joaquin. We drop the battle prep. We get the location, which is huge, and I'll show you why. So he gets the cleaver down, and I goof this up as well. I didn't place my spies correctly. I could have, like, off the bat, just ruined all his pockets here, at least the next play. But I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I keep that one alive. I figure if he's, he has no coins, if he wants to burn through it, it's going to be kind of tough. I think he plays horse in here. Oh, he plays Ziggy. Yeah. Next, he plays horse, and I believe. And I should have played around horse, I could have, by just using both leader charges on these. I think the reason why I didn't was because I figured he would drill. And I didn't want to boost up too much. But it turns out he didn't have drill anyways. Yeah, I, sh I should play the enforcer here. Yeah, I gave him way too easy of a pass. I figured he would drill. And I was... Kind of eyeing up a... Yeah, see, here I should have... Well, I guess I couldn't have played around it anyway, so... One of them was going to die if he plays horse. And... Oh, he Philip was one, that's right. And then he horses the other one, I believe. He doesn't get the one with the big armor... Which was kind of a misplay on his part. I could have cleavered this, and I maybe I should have. But... Oh, I do. I do get the cleaver. We still use the pings. I believe I hit Ziggy. Yeah. It's a good spender on his part. And I, if I... If I get the thing here, he doesn't kill my enforcer. Yeah, see if I if I boost there, I think though he kills the cleaver. Which I think it was a mistake. Um I should use yeah, I use it here. And we get the Afon out, which is huge. So we got some okay pulls from the what's it called? This is rough though. He gets Jacques. I mean uh, he's so he's got Jacques. Cleaver, Horson, and I'm sitting here with some spies. I'm like, uh... So I believe while I still... So, like, right here I messed up. I needed to play... No, I play Joaquim in the right spot. Okay. And we get the worst one. Um, and then I think I try to kill Horson.
I figured I can Brothens. I think he, yeah, he keeps him alive because that's a good spender. Um, we do have three coins. We go Brothens. Yeah, and we fill up his row. And I keep the Brothens alive. Uh, double ping, I... I don't, I don't know why. I was... I kept thinking I had coup and I didn't. I should have killed the Ziggy. Oh, I was trying to put it back in the graveyard. That's right. Which I think I get it in the graveyard. No, I don't. So he's got eight coins. So we play this, and I'm try I think I'm trying to get uh, what's left in the. Gra I think there's something in the graveyard that I want to put of his back in because he's. I think he spent something good. So 58, 53. Trying to kill the Ziggy. I should have killed it a while ago. He's got a full bank, though. Alright. So I try to high roll. Or no, I just bleed something. 53. Look at this Magni, though. He just had a regular old fist deck. And he dumped... I think he dumps almost everything into the Sea Jackal. Uh, so we got to go for the... He doesn't have Heat Wave. So there's nothing really that great. Oh, we go for Bank. That's right. Yeah. So we YOLO the Bank. And we get the... Roderick into Usurper? Or is it Invo? I think it's Invo for 19. And we get all the spies. One point. <laughs> Easy. Easy. <laughs> Alright, we'll... Uh... We'll, we'll, we'll go over one more. Alright, so here's a... Uh, Blaze of Glory. Probably the... Definition of, like, consistency and... Well, not maybe not consistency, just overall, just... This, this can win. So I'm going to open up with the... Uh, I should have opened with Magni front row because of... Uh, Menno. So that was a misplay. So he goes long ship. I was thinking about playing the, the Nausicaa. I'll leave it go. Um, I 
I wanted to play Menno this or er, thing this round, but I already got the Magni down. So if you have Menno in hand, you want to play the Magni front row. If you have still have a Fawn in the deck and you already played Menno, then you know play it back row. Little thing. That's why I like going over games like this. It's uh, I I remember when I used to play Duelist. They had a really good. Um, review feature where you can go into the game settings it was it was really great i loved it i wish uh when had that option it would be a huge huge teaching tool to go back and just look at your games like that if you don't have the ability to record so unfortunately here now i should have uh, tactical advantage because or skull because um gutting slash kills the magni which really sucks so that was another misplay I have to get the spy down though to get my boys out unless he plays something with a status which there aren't too many things that he does have that have status so he plays his second boat which is fine so we have to go uh, Ramon then Doggos We go with the the thin to play around uh, the slash or the yeah gutting slash. We should have did that earlier though. There's two bad pulls. There's the dog, the other dog, and a fawn with uh, and I mean of course you could pull. I think I get out though. He just plays something small and I get out. Yeah, we just pass. We didn't get the dogs out, but we don't want to jump too far into this. My hand's pretty good. I got the location in hand if he bleeds me. He gets off easy by playing something small, but he also committed both boats, which is good. He's got a hunter in the graveyard for his uh, herald. You just play, I mean, you just play a raider or you play a, a veteran here. I mean, you get off pretty easy, but so do I. I mean, I kept all my gold cards. Granted, I have the dogs, but the dogs are the easiest one to thin, and we get Morkvarg out of them, which is huge. Um, so his hand's got to be on fire because, I mean, that card's so good against uh, Joaquin, so I'm, I'm happy to get that out of him. Probably a huge misplay, but I don't know what his hand was. I probably even would have played a Bear Witch over that. Um, so I need stuff to play. I just get rid of both hunting packs. I, if I pull them with Joaquim, it's not a big deal. It cancels out the Joaquim because the other four that you pull, since there's a 12 and an 8, or a 4. So I, I see Herkia... This was bad though, okay. This was real bad because I see it. I should have just played, I should have just played location. I should have played um, either the high rolly friend or, you know, whatever. And I, I overcommit here. I play the Ramon and he just passes. Which was dumb. I don't know why I thought he only had six cards, but I know that's what I did, and I know that was dumb. Yeah, see, it, it 
this was just way too much here. Like, you know, he just passes. And, like, that's, like, one of my biggest chunks here. Like, that was dumb. <laughs> this was really dumb. I thought he had six cards. I was just, like... I, I just... He had seven, and that was bad. I, pr I should have just played the location and the... Um, the mentor. Or I could even try to shuffle something back in. Be a high roll friend. He wants a short round, though, I think. Yeah, see, this was dumb. This was super dumb. <laughs> Don't do this. <laughs> I should have played either just one enforcer or maybe Ramon and Shield. Ramon and Shield would have even been good because I have, well, I don't have Koo in hand. Um, we still got dogs in the deck. We want to check for pulls. We got one, two, three, four pulls possibly with... Things. So we just get rid of one of these spies, I think, to try and find Invo or Cantarella. Cantarella really doesn't do anything, but if you kill it, you could play it three times because you could shuffle it back in. You see that, that Mulligan? Jeez. Um, we give it one boost. Then if he plays like a hunter, or, I think he, he just automatically gets Harold out. And uh, we just boost everything up big enough to where it can handle it. Which that's why this passive and the leader is so nice with these. Is you get your pocket going, which I should have Ramon and Enforcer right here. And I should be sitting pretty. I th oh no, he Helmars it. Okay, so next he plays... See, I think this was incorrect. I mean, granted, he gets one down, but we just double up. No point in not, you know, we know uh, Morkvarg's gone. Uh, we can hold the charge. The Magni's gone, so we could play Usurper with a big push on it. If this thing lives, it's going to do a lot of work, a lot of damage, a lot of damage. I think I wanted to try and save Usurper for... To keep... Because it's easy Bloodthirst for him. Because it doesn't really boost. But he gets his Herald down. With a Hunter. Double ping on the Enforcer. It's an easy kill. It's it's too clean to kill it. You know what I mean? So you just take it with the uh, thing. It trades up so nice. Uh, he even hit armor with the uh, thing. Which I guess is maybe good. Because he wants to get bloodthirst going. Hopefully there weren't any ads during the soundtrack here. <laughs> I'm just listening to the Gled soundtrack in the background. Actually, I can't listen to anything because on the Mac I can't uh, figure out the uh, um, OBS to um, what's it called? Hear this in-game sound. It it disables it. It records it on stream Streamlabs, but it doesn't on here. So we keep it alive. He thought he was getting an easy uh, Blood Eagle for his Iced. Uh, he gets Double Hunter down, which really hurts. But I could play... Um, uh, Usurper doesn't do it. 
we get we get to wait a turn because he has to wait because of the hunters. So I could still boof it, boof it, um, beef it back up, which is pretty good. We just keep whittling this down though. So usurper, I can kill one next turn, which is pretty clean. Uh, he didn't draw very well, just and and I mean like he dumped a lot of bigger cards just trying to kill this enforcer. Um, I almost played it there, and I'm like, wait, I got two spies. I just play usurper. It's it's too clean. You get that double ping from the hunter out of there. See, I, yeah, I should play Usurper here. <clears throat> yeah, see, this wasn't correct. I get the dogs, but... He gets... I should have played Usurper. I was hoping that I wouldn't get the dogs, and I could, but see now he gets two pings on a four, and he gets a great sword. Yeah, this, this wasn't good at all. I should have just played the usurper. So that played for an extra two, four points that I gave him. I was looking at it and I'm like, I want to hit a mirror. It's a 50 50. I go for the 50 50. I don't win it. I know I don't. Oh, I do. I do win it. Okay. Um, it's a huge target for iced. Um,. We just throw that back in. We kill the hunter, and we're able... To, I steal the wrong card here. I should have stealed the emissary. I gave him Bloodthirst 2, so it's easy to get Bloodthirst 3 now. That was dumb. I was under the rope there. I, I, I goofed, though. I gave him a free Bloodthirst, which was dumb. So we get some uh, five-head interactions here, which is pretty hilarious. Um, so we go Usurper first. He's already got the Bloodthirst. Amir is able to pull that one back now. We get three pings from the... Uh, what's it called? So here's the the five head play of the day. We go ahead and we just um, we bleed Joaquin to put one on the top of the deck. That way we can pull another one and we get two spies. He goofs here though because he wants that max like you know thing out of it. He hits the fifteen. And it still lives. He didn't really even have... To, well, I guess he wants to discard it because of the damage. Um, but... I go with the bleed... On the Joaquim. Because <laughs> they don't have tutors. He doesn't have a way to get something off the top of his deck. We know he's devotion. We get two spies out of it, you know. So 
So we go Viper Witcher. We bleed the Joaquim. To put one on the top of the deck. Kill the Hunter. Yoink the one. We get a 12 point play with two two spies and we also get to steal the Cantarella, which is nice. We put two bleeding down. You couldn't do this against other decks with tutors because they'll just pull a Joaquin. But he gets a Berserker down, which he played late. He kills the one. There wasn't anything in the graveyard I don't think that was worth pulling. Morkvarg, he doesn't have anything boosted. Herky is too late. So we get a 12. Amir pulls back another one. And I think I, just for the heck of it, I put something dumb in the deck. Uh, rating fleet. <laughs> I forget what his last yeah, his last card's Blood Eagle, and he doesn't he played everything like his herald's gone. He only had a veteran left, so I think we win by one. <laughs> Another squeaker. But, um, yeah, that's the video for today, guys. I want to do something different. Um, let me know what you think if you want to do some review gameplay. Um, I think it's something cool um, where I just jam some games. I do a lot. I think I do a lot better, but after going over the plays, maybe I don't. <laughs> but I like I like going back and looking through my mistakes. I, if you have the ability to record, I highly recommend it, uh, especially on your losses. Um, you can also min you know minimize your mistakes on your wins too you know as you could see here I'm like I, I lost some points um, but um, let me know what you guys think thank you guys so much for everything I'll see you next time